Welcome to Buckeye Bloomstead, where every flower has a story, and today, we're diving into the bright and beautiful world of sunflowers. Let's embark on a blooming adventure together. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe, and click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is up, and if you like this video, please let YouTube know by clicking on the like icon and let us know in the comments what topics you would like to see us cover here on Buckeye Bloomstead. Today our video is all about sunflowers, the happiest flowers under the sun. Join me as we explore how to plant, grow, and marvel at these golden giants. The Sunflower Family Did you know there are about 70 varieties of sunflowers? That's right! From the petite to the towering, sunflowers come in a dazzling array of sizes and colors. Let's dive deeper into the sunflower universe. You might be wondering, with around 70 varieties, which ones reach for the stars? Let's explore the giants of the sunflower family and more. Some are perfect for bouquets, while others are cultivated for their seeds. No matter the variety, sunflowers share a common trait, they're all stunning. For now, let's talk about the really big sunflowers. The biggest of them all. Topping our list is the American Giant. This towering beauty can reach up to 16 feet tall, or even more, with proper care and a whole lot of sunshine. The American Giant is not just tall, it's sturdy, with a thick stem that supports its massive head. It's the ultimate skyscraper in the sunflower world. The stalks on these plants can be a couple of inches thick. Not far behind is the Russian Mammoth. This sunflower variety is a close second, growing up to 12 feet tall with a flower head that can span a foot across. It's like the friendly giant of the garden, offering a feast for the eyes and a banquet for birds who love its seeds. We have personally grown this beautiful variety and it is from this variety that has allowed us to save seeds from each year to use the following years to grow new sunflowers from. We in the past have also packaged our own sunflower seeds to trade and share with others and you could do the same. They are fun to grow, and the sunflowers are just stunning. They are head turners in any neighborhood. The Russian mammoth is not just a visual spectacle, it's a historical one too. Cultivated for centuries, it's a testament to the enduring appeal and versatility of sunflowers. We have to say that so far, this variety is one of our favorites. Rounding out our top three is the skyscraper. As the name suggests, this variety isn't shy about reaching high, growing up to 12 feet tall. Its bright yellow flowers are like little suns themselves, lighting up any garden. Now, just when you thought sunflowers couldn't get any more impressive, let me introduce you to the Mongolian sunflower. A variety that is uncommon, and the seeds often are hard to come by, but is just as grand as its name suggests is the Mongolian sunflower. This variety is sure to bring a touch of the exotic to our sunflower exploration as it will yours. The Mongolian sunflower is a marvel of the sunflower family. While not the tallest, standing proudly at up to 14 feet, it's known for its robust growth and large, hardy heads that can reach impressive widths, making it a contender in the size department. What sets the Mongolian sunflower apart is not just its size, but its resilience. Adapted to various climates, it's a testament to the sunflower's versatility and strength. The Mongolian variety thrives in conditions where others might falter, bringing its sunny disposition to gardens far and wide. Its seeds are a treasure trove of nutrition, sought after for their health benefits and delicious taste. Like the Russian mammoth, the Mongolian sunflower is not only a feast for the eyes but also a boon for birds and humans alike, providing sustenance and beauty. While the American giant might take the crown for height, the Mongolian sunflower holds its own with its formidable presence and vitality. It's a variety that captures the spirit of adventure and endurance, embodying the essence of exploration and growth. Imagine a field of these giants, standing like sentinels under the sun, their faces turned skyward. The Mongolian sunflower is a symbol of nature's boundless creativity and our shared desire to reach ever higher. 
The Mongolian sunflower's unique characteristics remind us of the diversity within the sunflower family. Each variety, from the towering American giant to the resilient Mongolian, brings its own story and beauty to the world. So, whether you're drawn to the sheer size of the American giant, the historical charm of the Russian mammoth, the sturdy heights of the Mongolian, or the petite delight of the teddy bear, there's a sunflower variety waiting to bloom in your garden. Each sunflower variety, including the mighty Mongolian, invites us to grow, explore, and find joy in the simple act of turning our faces to the sun. And that, my friends, is a journey worth taking. But sunflowers aren't all about height. Let's not forget the teddy bear variety, a fluffy, cuddly counterpart that grows only about two to three feet tall. Perfect for pots and small spaces, it brings the sunflower's joy to any corner. From the giant to the petite, sunflowers show us that beauty comes in all sizes. Each variety brings its own charm and purpose, whether it's for a stunning garden display, a snack for our feathered friends, or a healthy treat for us. These sun-kissed flowers not only compete in the height department but also in color and form. From the traditional golden yellow to shades of orange, red, and even chocolate brown, sunflowers paint our world with the hues of the sun. And let's not forget, sunflowers are pollinator magnets. Their large heads provide a feast for bees, butterflies, and other beneficial insects, playing a vital role in our ecosystem. So, whether you're aiming for the sky with the American giant, admiring the robust beauty of the Russian mammoth, or enjoying the compact charm of the teddy bear, sunflowers offer a variety for every taste and garden size. Stay right here as we continue to dig into the secrets of planting these giants and their smaller cousins, ensuring a bloomstead full of happiness and color. Before we dive deeper, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, would you do us a huge favor? Join our growing community by subscribing to our channel. And if you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. Your likes tell YouTube that our content is worth sharing, helping us reach even more flower enthusiasts like you. Let's grow this beautiful community together. Let's dive deeper into the sunflower universe. Remember, every sunflower starts as a small seed, dreaming of the sun. Sunflowers, the garden's sunny delight. They're like a ray of joy, adding a splash of brightness to any corner of your green space. Here at Buckeye Bloomstead, we're all about sprinkling a little sunshine in your life, and what better way to do that than with sunflowers? They're not just easy to grow, they're a bundle of fun too. Imagine this, with just a sunny spot, some eager soil, and a handful of seeds, you're on your way to growing giants that can tower over you, head so big you'll be doing a double take. But wait, there's more to these golden beauties than meets the eye. Did you know that sunflowers are actually native to North America? That's right. This continent has been the birthplace of many incredible plants that have journeyed far and wide, becoming global superstars. From the humble corn to the versatile dry beans, these crops have been nurtured by indigenous Americans for over 5,000 years. And sunflowers? They've been part of this illustrious group, spreading sunshine all around the globe. Now, let's dive into the magical world of growing these sunny giants. Planting them is a breeze and watching them chase the sunlight is nothing short of magical. Yes, they literally chase the rays of the sun throughout the day. You'll want to pick a spot that's drenched in sunshine because, let's face it, sunflowers are the ultimate sun worshippers. We've grown some that could easily play hide and seek behind their mammoth heads. Ever wonder if, like the mighty dinosaurs, sunflowers were once even more colossal in the ancient past? Could there have been sunflowers that towered even taller, with heads so large they could eclipse the sun? It's a fascinating thought, and if you've got any insights or ancient sunflower tales to share, we're all ears. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's unravel the mysteries of these golden giants together. Feel the warmth yet? We at Buckeye Bloomstead are here to guide you every step of the way. These beacons of joy, 
embarked on a global voyage. By 1550, they had already painted landscapes across Europe, Africa, and Russia with their vibrant hues. Fast forward to the 1700s, and you'd find the earliest patents for sunflower oil extraction brewing in Russia. Why? Well, it turns out olives were a bit too diva for the Russian climate, leaving olive oil enthusiasts in a bit of a pickle. Enter the sunflower, stage right, ready to save the day with its oil-rich seeds. Now that you're picturing where to plant your sun-gazing friends, let's talk variety. Planning to grow sunflowers just for their sunny faces? Then, any type will do. But if you're after something more specific, like a splash of edible sunshine or a boost for your garden's health, listen up. You've got two main paths, the confectionery types, sporting those familiar, white-striped seeds we all snacked on as kids, and the black oil sunflowers, the heavy lifters of the sunflower world. These dark beauties are oil powerhouses, ideal for microgreens and packing double the oil content of their snackable cousins. Understanding Sunflower Shenanigans When growing sunflowers, getting to know their growth habits is like unlocking a secret garden diary. They shoot up towards the sky until they hit their genetic ceiling, that's when they proudly unfurl their sunny heads. Now, here's a twist, despite the widespread belief in their heliotropic nature, that's a fancy way of saying they follow the sun, by the way, sunflowers actually settle down facing east as they mature. It's a quirky trait, especially when your garden faces the opposite direction, leaving you with a bunch of too-cool-for-school sunflowers turning their backs on you. A little more magic before the growing tips. Before we dig into the nitty-gritty of planting, here's a nugget of wisdom, sunflowers are more than just pretty faces. They're like the garden's multitaskers, doubling as dynamic accumulators. With roots that can dive up to four feet deep, they're busy pulling nutrients and minerals from the depths, enriching the soil above. Come season's end, those nutrients are ready to feed your garden, simply chop and drop. Selecting your sunflower squad. Now, for the grand finale, choosing your sunflower varieties. This is where your garden starts taking shape in your imagination. I'll sprinkle my favorite picks throughout our chat. But first, a couple of pro tips. Steer clear of pollen-free varieties if you're looking to host a pollinator party. Also know that sunflowers in certain crops like pole beans and potatoes might not be the best roommates due to some sunflower varieties' inhibitory effects. In our garden, our favorite sunflowers are the Russian mammoth and the American giant for their wonderful seeds. We also love any of the smaller varieties for additional beauty in the garden and to feed our pollinators. Besides the Russian and American sunflowers, we love all varieties of the smaller kind. Sunflower Seed Starting, Buckeye Bloomstead's Beginner's Guide to Sunshine Alright, green thumbs and sunshine lovers let's dive into the world of starting sunflower seeds, a journey that's as easy as it is rewarding. Picture this, a tiny seed, the promise of a sun-kissed bloom, and you, the gardener ready to bring it to life. Let's get started. First up, soaking your sunflower seeds. Is it a must? Not at all. But imagine giving those seeds a little spa treatment, soaking them for about 4 to 8 hours. It's like whispering to them, wake up, it's time to grow. This spa moment allows water to penetrate the tough exterior, nudging germination into a quicker pace. But hey, if you're not into soaking, no worries. As long as the soil stays as moist as a morning dew, those seeds won't know the difference. Now, let's talk about the tiny marvels mingling with cantaloupes and melons in my garden. Small but mighty, these seeds remind us that greatness comes in all sizes. But guess what? Big or small, the planting rule remains the same, about an inch deep in the cozy embrace of soil. If you want to start your seeds indoors, you can, but keep in mind you want a fairly deep container. Why? Well, sunflowers, like any self-respecting plant with a taproot, don't take kindly to root disturbance. 
You want to start a container that will allow the taproot to grow in enough soil, so when you transplant it, disturbing the taproot will be held to a minimum. Seed containers that you can use your finger to push the seedling up though the bottom will minimize trauma to the taproot. I'd go the direct sowing route. That is how we grow ours. Why tease the taproot with confinement when it can stretch out in the great outdoors from day one? Plus, it saves you the transplanting step, and your sunflower gets to grow up where it truly belongs. Make sure you choose a location where the sunflower will receive a good six hours or more of sunlight. The watering wonders of sunflower gardening. The elixir of life for our sun-kissed friends, water. Navigating the waters of sunflower gardening is like being the conductor of a symphony, where every droplet plays its part. Act 1, The Seedling Sonata. In the beginning, when your sunflower seeds are just starting their journey, think of them as tiny artists waiting in the wings, thirsty for their debut. During this tender time, your goal is to keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged. Imagine you're misting the leaves of a delicate fern or creating a morning dew ambience. A gentle spray or a soft drizzle using a watering can with a fine nozzle is all you need. This delicate balance of moisture awakens the seeds, coaxing them to break free and reach for the stars. Interlude, the art of checking moisture. How do you know if you've hit the right note with water? Let your fingers be your guide. Dive a digit into the soil, up to the first knuckle, if it feels like the dampness of a well-squeezed sponge, bravo, you've achieved moisture harmony. Too dry? Time for an encore of watering. Too wet? Let the soil symphony rest a bit before the next performance. Act 2, The Growing Groove. As our sunflower protagonists emerge from the soil and start their ascent, their thirst grows with their stature. Now, they're ready for a bit more volume in their water music. Transition to deeper, less frequent watering sessions. It's like teaching them to sip from a deep well rather than nibbling on surface dew. Encourage those roots to reach deep into the earth, seeking out moisture and stability. A good soaking once a week should do the trick, allowing the top inch of soil to dry out between encores. This rhythm helps prevent overtures of soggy roots while ensuring the deep drink they crave. Crescendo, the full bloom fanfare. As our sunflower stars hit their full, glorious bloom, their water needs reach a crescendo. This is their prime time, and keeping up with their hydration ensures they stand tall, proud, and vibrant. But remember, even at peak performance, our golden performers dislike soggy feet. Maintain the deep watering ritual, adjusting only to the applause of rain from Mother Nature herself. Encore, more wisdom on watering. Through each stage of growth, from tender seedlings to majestic blooms, Remember that the water symphony is a responsive one. Adjust your watering based on rainfall, temperature, and the unique thirst of your sunflower variety. Like any good conductor, watch your performers closely, respond to their needs, and lead them towards a standing ovation under the sun. The journey of watering sunflowers is a dance of intuition, care, and joy. Fast forward, your sunflower is reaching for the skies, living its best life out in the field. But uh-oh, is there trouble in paradise? Remember, this is a sunflower we're talking about, it craves the spotlight, basking in six or more hours of glorious sunshine daily. Anything less, and it's like keeping a rock star away from the stage, not a happy scenario. Also be careful not to over-fertilize. A little goes a long way with sunflower. So, keep it to a minimum. We hope you can see that starting and growing sunflowers is a joyous path, sprinkled with a bit of science, a dash of love, and a whole lot of sunshine. Ready to embark on this golden adventure? Let's make the world a brighter place, one sunflower at a time. So, there is the lowdown on turning your garden into a sunflower haven. Encounters with Garden Guests As our story unfolds, a cast of characters emerges, from the mildew that seeks to dampen spirits to the caterpillars, moths, and birds, each playing their part in the garden's ecosystem. Fear not, for sunflowers possess the resilience to weather these encounters, shedding their lower leaves like old costumes, ready for the final act. 
Yet, when the curtain rises on the harvest of seeds, a new adversary may take the stage, the sunflower moth, with larvae poised to plunder your sunflower's bounty. Here, the organic night bt, Bacillus thuringiensis, stands ready, a gentle protector against the larvae's advances. Alternatively, a keen eye and a steady hand can pluck these intruders from their hideouts, safeguarding your harvest. Harvesting the Encore And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, when are the seeds ready to take their bow? As the backstage turns from green to brown and the head nods gracefully forward, it's time. The head of the sunflower generally will face towards the ground, not the stalk but the head itself, it is at this time, that if you wish to process your seeds, you want to shield your sunflower's crown with netting or a paper bag can fend off eager birds until the seeds, plump and firm up, whisper of readiness. You may just leave it alone if you are leaving your sunflowers for the birds and other wildlife to enjoy. If it is your intention to process your seeds, with gentle hands, cut the head from its stem, a treasure chest of seeds within your grasp. Let it dry in a spot where air freely circulates, a backstage where the final transformation unfolds. Once dry, a simple rub between your hands or a brush of a comb releases the seeds, ready for their next adventure, be it a snack, a gift, or the promise of next season's bloom. Be sure to keep some of your seeds for planting next year's harvest. Keep them in a cool dry location. You will be able to tell when the seeds are ready to be removed from the head. They should be hard, and clearly dry. In our garden's tale, each sunflower plays its part, from sprouting to full bloom, through challenges and triumphs, until the harvest calls. Together, we've navigated the care, braved the pests, and arrived at the moment of harvest, ready to begin anew. The cycle of growth, a story of resilience, beauty, and the bounty of nature, continues, with you, dear gardener, as its narrator. The final bow, a call to our Sunflower Symphony audience as our sunflower journey reaches its splendid finale, and before the curtains gently fall on this blooming saga, we have a small but heartfelt request for our cherished audience. If this garden of growth, challenges, and triumphs has brightened your day, if you found joy in the dance of sunflowers under the sky's grand canopy, then we invite you to join our ever-growing garden community. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you're not just hitting a button, you're planting a seed of support that helps our garden of content flourish and grow. Each subscription is like a sunbeam, encouraging us to create, share, and inspire even more. And if this story of sunflowers has left a sparkle in your eye, why not share the love with a like? Your likes are the water to our creative soil, letting us know which blossoms caught your gaze and which tales touched your heart. It's a simple gesture that helps spread the beauty of gardening, the wisdom of nature, and the joy of sunflowers far and wide. So, as we bid adieu and the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of gratitude, we thank you. Thank you for being a part of this journey, for every like, every subscribe, and every moment spent with us in the garden of stories. Here's to many more adventures together, under the sun, among the blooms, within the wondrous world of Buckeye Bloomstead. Until next time, keep your garden dreaming, your spirit blooming, and your heart as open and welcoming as the sunflowers embrace.